Welcome to another episode of Trevor teaches you how to cook and be the best cook you know because I'm the best cook around. Today I got a, it's a PSA with also a, um, I just, I have to teach you how to make pizza dough because it's so easy. It's so easy. So just get ready. I'm gonna make some pizza, pizza dough, pizza dough time. So thanks for joining along and let me show you what we're working with. All-purpose flour, sugar. I'm gonna use garlic salt. I'm gonna see how that tastes. A little Flashman's Active Dry Yeast. KitchenAid mixer. Let's go. First, uh, call to business. Use the rest of your flour before you open the next bag. But it's three it's about three and a half cups of flour. So, there's close to two, but I just used up one of the bags of flour. Now you gotta go to the next bag of flour. So, we'll do that next. Got it down to the two. There's two. Now, I'm gonna go for three and some change. Three and some change. So just, it's it's not an exact science. It's an exact science, but it's not an exact science. It's a science of inches. A teaspoon sugar, not an exact science. Teaspoon, I'm trying garlic salt. I think, ooh, you know, I think it's gonna be good. It's just like flavoring. So why not flavor it with something that is tastes good? So then it calls, a lot of recipes call for a, a packet of yeast. So if you are unsure what a packet of yeast is and you have a whole bottle of Fleischmann's, so it's two teaspoons and a quarter. So one, two, and a, qu a quarter, you know, which is your best bet. My best bet, your best bet. That's what we're working with. And then I'm gonna take a, a, a whisk attachment from the, from the kitchen and mixer. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna whisk it, whisk it in there. Whiskey, whiskey D, whisk it in there, you know? Whiskey do, whisker don't. I'm just gonna whisk it in there. So, now I have to teach you something. You gotta, uh, number one, go to step two. Step two, crack cold one, pour a little out for your boys. R.I.P. But, you gotta get now a cup and a half of water with tea, two teaspoons of olive oil. And the water has to be 110 degrees. So if you didn't know this, your tap water has to be 110 degrees by law. And if it's not, then you're living in the slums and you might die of giardia. So let your hot water run for as long as it gets until it gets as hot as it can, because what we're dealing with is science, okay? Your yeast needs to be activated. It's, uh, it's alive, it's right now dormant, and it needs a warm little blanket to wake it up and just go in with the sugars and get the, get the dough to rise. So that is what the hot water does. And that is what we're doing. So, let's get a cup and a half of 110 degrees hot water here. Ready? Here we go. One and a half cup of agua caliente. Uh, sit, uh, 50 y... Uh, dos. So, 
We're gonna add this over here. I'm gonna show you, bring, bring in for a close up. My sister has fresh garlic oil. It's made with extra virgin olive oil, not to be confused with the, vir the uh, non-virgin uh, slutty oil. So, uh, two teaspoons into the water. This is um, garlic olive oil. <laughs> that this is what uh, cooking's all about. T t uh, taste, 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 and try. Try and try and taste. It's gonna be good. Um, yeah, can't go wrong with can't go wrong with that. So I'm gonna um, flip flip you around, show you putting it in, and um, there's a there's kind of a, a technique I gotta show you. You're watching for it to start to ball up here, and you want it to be a tight ball. You'll see it going. Right now it's a loose ball, loose ball foul. You want it to be a tight ball, and if you see, it's a little, it's a little dry. So, uh, what you're gonna do is, you're gonna just keep adding a little bit, oh, that almost looks so good. I'm just gonna add just a just a just a touch of bad bad. Just a touch just a touch of hot water. I, I lied to you. I just let the dough mixer go for a little bit longer. It's absolutely perfect. I have to show you. I have to turn you around here. It's absolutely perfect. You're gonna just oh, I'm the best cook I know. Look how tight. Oh my god. This is incredible. Okay. I got to I got to take you on to the next step here. Stay in focus. You're going to want to get a um a, a large bowl and you're going to put a little bit of you know, a little dollop will do you. It's just regular olive oil. And you're going to coat you're going to coat the inside of this uh bowl. Um which is really hard to do one-handed. But you're just gonna coat it. You don't want the dough to rise in your bowl and stick to the side. Little known fact. Uh, so that's why you're doing this. I'm trying to give you all of the reasons why. So it's a scientific method and, and, and uh, not a lot of people know that. So uh, you want your dough to rise for about one, one hour. One hour. I'll show you where I do it. I'll show you. I'll show you how I do it. So thanks for thanks for tuning in. That's the dough there. I got it sitting in there, and it needs to rise. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna get a towel that you know maybe you're not super fond of, but you're just gonna get it uh, moist, damp. And then you're going to drape it over your bowl, your bowel, and just like so. And then keep in mind, look at the, si look at the size of that right now. Okay. And then it is Sunday, just to let you know, it is Sunday right now. And then you want to put it in a warm, moderately warm place, which is above the fridge and you let it rise for about an hour. So in the in-between time, what you're gonna wanna do is grate your cheese. Do not get pre-shredded uh, mozzarella cheese. It has asbestos in it. Look it up. And it's really bad for you. So just buy whole, always get whole milk mozzarella dry cheese because it's the best. You want dry because you don't want a wet pizza. You want a dry pizza. And I go to TJ's, Trader Jose's, and get the whole milk mozzarella cheese. And you're gonna, you're gonna grate the whole thing and you'll thank me later. So get the whole whole milk mozzarella and grate it yourself. Don't be 
a little don't oh I can't it hurts my hand I can't grate the cheese I don't have a cheese grater oh pre shredded grated cheese is on par with um, it is like just putting dog food in your in your in your food so just don't do it PSA. I gotta be honest, I took a sneak peek. Just get, I guess I'll just show you. <laughs> Remember how small it was uh, just a little bit ago? Uh, it's easily tripled in size. So we have too much dough here, probably gonna end up making some sort of little, little breadstick bites or something. <laughs> Look at that, that's huge. Uh, just gonna take halves easier. And I already pre flowered my uh, countertop. And I'm just gonna spread it out. I'll show you. And then I'm, I'm gonna put up some butter on it, and some garlic, and some cheese. I'm gonna roll it up, make some bread sticks, and uh, the dough is still warm from all of the combustion that's happening inside due to the chemistry from the yeast. But this dough looks really good with the uh, garlic salt. There's like bits of oregano and uh, maybe some parsley, some thyme, some rosemary. Uh, but I wish I had a better angle or a way to have an angle to show you. I guess I could take it and show you, but. Oh yeah. I'm gonna butter this thing. I'm gonna garlic it. I'm gonna put some chest on it, and then I'm gonna butter the outside, and put some chest on the outside, and make some freaking delicious garlicky bites, garlicky not naughty bites. A little butter. Yeah, I've never done it like this. This is new for me. Uh, but when you're the best cook, you know. You know, you know it's gonna turn out good. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. Number one eats the sky. I like a big pizza. Garlic. That's a garlic. Um. You really can't put too much garlic into something, especially when it's called garlic bread. You can't. Uh, it's incredible. We'll see. It's, I feel like it's hard to screw up. Butter, garlic, cheese, dough. It's, it's, a, it's impossible. 100% impossible. We'll see. Never know. A little, um, Buttery, this is literally called buttery garlic herb. I don't know how you go wrong with this.
I know I gave you a bunch of shit about uh, pre packaged uh, cheese. This Parmesan cheese, this Parmesan cheese is unbelievable. I got the oven at 510. Slip these bad dogs in there. Oh. We are going to go ahead and get the rest of the dough rolled out for the pizza. Uh, still a good size dough here. Um, see, that's what I'm talking about. People don't realize how easy it is to make pizza dough. And once you buy the flour, once you buy the sugar and the salt and the yeast, you can make pizza dough all the time for no money. You could make bread. I just watched a video the other day that made a, a baguette with just water and flour and like yeast, that was it, it was a, that was the baguette. And it's crazy, it's so easy. And you just, you get to try things out and do fun things, like put different um, spices inside, oh boy. So I'm excited to see if this dough does turn out well and I'm gonna give you another little tip, another little insider tip. I like to pre-cook my dough and then I pre-cook it just a little bit, let it, get, let it get a little bit of color on it in the, in the oven, and then I put my toppings on it. Because sometimes the toppings and the, uh, the dough boy here doesn't, uh, they don't cook it at the same pace. If you can, go ahead and buy one of these pizza grates. Best thing my uh, old roommate ever left behind. A bunch of pizza grates. Uh, it's an incredible purchase. Nothing better. And this feels incredible. I'm gonna brush off any of the excess flour and uh, put it in the oven. And while you're putting it in the oven, you can check on, you can check on your, your, your little garlic bites. <gasps> Look at those. Look at those. Oh, my little garlic bites. Oh boy. Oh boy. That looks incredible. Okay, just pulled it out. Pulled it out of the oven. Look at this bad boy. You're gonna go ahead and Get a, 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 a pizza sauce of your choice. You're gonna spread, spread, spread. I don't like too much sauce. I'm not the sauciest of guys. I definitely want coverage. And I get my sauce from Trader Joe's. It's called pizza sauce. I could make my own, uh, but this one's good. I've tried, I've, I have made my own pizza sauce. This is, this is just as good and I love it. So, a little sauce, sauce, sauce. If you've never made a homemade pizza before, um, I'm gonna go ahead and say that you're not American. Are you kidding me? Started smelling a little smoke, so I pulled it out. But the cheese, these are perfect. These are incredible. I can't wait to try these. Okay, after nearly burning down the house, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, continue to, to top my pizza and um, go ahead and use your non pre-shredded cheese. Cheese that bad boy up. If, if you're like me, uh, there's no such thing as too much cheese, so. I put a lot on the bottom, 
And then I'll put my pepperonis on there with my black olive because it's just like my soul. So I love pepperoni black olive. That's my favorite pizza. You can put whatever you want except for pineapple because if you put pineapple on pizza, it's pretty much saying that you sided with Hitler. And we all know how that went down. So there's not the same argument as say with black olives, you know, people are like, oh, black olives are fine. But you put pineapple on your pizza, you pray like cats and you probably also um, enjoyed uh, the mass Singer. So uh, right there, went ahead and did my pepperoni, my black olives, and then, oh boy, that was a lot of cheese on that one part. So we'll go ahead and fix that right up here. Let me give you a little shot of this bad boy. We're gonna put it in the 510 degree oven. Just took one of the worst looking ones. Oh man. It's light, fluffy, buttery, garlic. Cheesy. Mmm. Mm, best cook I know. Mmm. Mmm. I'm not mad about that. Let's go ahead and check on this boy. <laughs> oh yeah. She's looking mighty fine. When you start to see the little golden brown on top, that's how you know she's done. Thanks for coming to my cooking show. Thanks for coming to my cooking channel. Thanks for tuning in. Subscribe, like, leave a comment. What do you want me to cook next? But let me show you the spread and enjoy. I'm the best cook I know.